Donna McKenzie, good evening. Lawmakers and advocates say they're proud to see Illinois move closer towards 100% clean energy by 2050. They also emphasize that it is possible to address jobs and also address climate change at the same time. Governor J.B. Pritzker met his final campaign promise to make Illinois a model for clean energy. This new law is the most significant step Illinois has taken in a generation toward a reliable, renewable, affordable, and clean energy future. Negotiations on the energy plan hit a standstill in May, and some worried the bill was dead for 2021. However, legislative leaders kept working through the summer to bring Democrats, Republicans, labor, and environmental groups to an agreement. Yes. I believe in the impossible. The impossible does become possible when we all work together. All private coal and oil electric plants must reach zero emissions by 2030. Larger municipal plants, including Prairie State and CWLP's Dalman 4, will close by 2045 unless they reach zero carbon emissions. The plan gives Exelon a $694 million bailout to save the state's nuclear fleet, including the Byron and Dresden facilities that faced a dire situation with thousands of jobs on the line. With the governor's signature on Senate Bill 2408, we ensure that our state's nuclear fleet will stay online and thousands of jobs and the tax revenue that they provide won't be lost. A major portion of this law is ensuring equity in the energy sector. It creates a Clean Jobs Workforce Network Hubs program to help people in black and brown communities start clean energy careers. There's also a Jobs and Environmental Justice Grant program to put funds up front to help community ownership and development of renewable energy projects. It means that Reverend Tony Pierce in Peoria has access to the prime contractor program that will provide underserved contractors the resources they need to become lead contractors that create jobs in their communities. This law also eliminates online payment fees for your utility bills and makes sure that your utility companies aren't acting unethically with some watchdog groups that will be able to look into everything that they do. 